Welcome back again to Apache Kafka series. Uh, in the previous videos, we have looked into installing Kafka, creating Kafka uh, Java client, and then testing the, both our consumers and producers on the, our local machines. In this video, we are going to continue with how to install Kafka on the Google Cloud Virtual Machine or Google Cloud uh, uh, VM instance. Uh, before that, uh, firstly, at least if you have used uh, Google Cloud before or Amazon uh, Cloud Services or maybe Azure Cloud Services, uh, you know that you have to create uh, an account. Then after creating an account, you will be landed to the uh, cloud uh, dashboard so in the case of google uh, i'm not going to show how to create cloud accounts or how to create google account as far as you have gmail uh, it's like you have an account you can just uh, try to access the cloud uh, console then it will require you to sign in with your gmail account so uh, without uh, wasting too much time, let's go to our Google Cloud uh, console, then create an instance. And after creating an instance, at the beginning, we are going to now start with uh, installing Java first. So uh, let's get started for now. As you can see now on my screen, uh, this is uh, the Google Cloud uh, Console, or I can say the Google Cloud Platform. Uh, from this platform, uh, you can create an instance uh, by going to the menu or maybe typing the VM instance here. So uh, let's go through the menu. Let's say you come to the menu and you look for the instance or uh, compute engine then from this compute engine by coming on it you can just go to the uh, menus and click on the vm instance so let's say that now we create uh, we click on the vm instance now as you can see i have uh, one uh, vm that i created previously but now we are going to create a new vm from scratch uh, in order to install Java, then after installing Java, install our Kafka, then uh, also Zookeeper. Then we are going to also uh, create the Zookeeper ensemble and then create the Kafka cluster on Google Cloud. Uh, normally, uh, using this link by going to the just uh, after the console slash marketplace, you can type Kafka here. You can search for Kafka here. Just type Kafka and see the available providers like the Confluence Cloud Provider. They also provide a free account that you can use for your testing purpose. So they are also a good, very good candidate. And uh, before that is, as I said, uh, Google click to deploy Kafka, but now I couldn't find it. Maybe Google have uh, stop the service or the image. So uh, that is why we are also going to install it manually so that you can see everything, how it is being installed and how you can configure the Kafka and also the firewall so that you will be able to access the Kafka from outside uh, Google Cloud or from your application. So let's continue. Now on our cloud, we are going to create an instance. Let's say I click on create an instance. So now you can see after creating the instance, I can see now it's bring me to the page to create instance. So let's say I just write Kafka series here. Uh, Apache Kafka series. I can set also Apache Kafka series. Uh, let me name it one, the first instance, because we are going to create a cluster. Then, uh, depending on the region you are, you can, if you want, you can change the region, but it's not necessary. You can leave it as default. Also, with the I think uh, configuration the default because for free account also this is enough for now with the Kafka then uh, let's go down 
uh, we can just leave these ones as defaults then if you want you can change the disk but i am not interested but by clicking on changing the disk you can come here and change the size of the disk if you want uh, or you can change the type of the operating system if let's say you are used to let's say ubuntu or centos so you can change the operating system also here uh, so we let's continue we will allow our instance to just uh, to accept traffic for both uh, http and https then uh, now everything is ready as you can see it's telling me that at least how early it will be there a so monthly at least it will be there so uh, i'm using the my free account now so i wouldn't i i'm not expecting too much for now so let's uh, create our instance now so i'm now clicking on create then my instance will be created uh, as you can see now uh, it's bring me to the page of the instance uh, google is now creating my instance so let's wait for the instance to be created okay my instance is now created i have apache kafka series uh, virtual machine now ready that i can access so one of the thing i can do now is to go to the ssh or click on this and then open the console so that we are going to use to install uh, java so now i am opening the console okay it's asking me to connect i said yes uh, connect then click on the connect so now the console is ready also so as you can see now i have my virtual machine console ready uh, so one of the thing i can do now is that i can update the instance now uh, even though if maybe because we are doing this for testing purpose uh, by default while creating our instance we can also give a default script that the instance can execute to make all the updates but uh, now i'm just going to update the instance so sudo apt and then update so that the operating system will be updated and be ready for my operation uh, so quick so installing jdk also is not that much uh, of a thing i can just say apt get then install i don't want it to ask any questions so i will just set uh, uh, because this the cloud is like uh, your production environment so you don't want to use uh, oracle jdk because it's not free for uh, enterprise or for your production so for production normally we go with the open jdk so let's say open jdk 11 uh, jdk 11 and then let's get open jdk uh, unable to run the command what's wrong with the command oh okay sorry i forgot to yeah i have to give a sudo permission here so to run the then i'm installing the open jdk now okay uh, now jdk is installed and uh, it's, it's ready to be used uh, we can now try to configure the java home so one of the thing i will do i will configure java home globally uh, you can configure it wherever you want by default uh, in the uh, debian java is installed in the uh, you can the home java home is a user uh leap and then you can get the jvm there jvm directory so you see i have the jvm if i check for java i will see java 11 i think i sure see java 11 yes you see java open jdk 11 so i'm going to copy this part let's say for example after copying the part uh, by default immediately you highlight on the line you want to copy the console we co will copy it automatically 
so let's go to our etc and then profile the file then i want to edit this file uh, let's go with sudo sudo cetc there uh, i will go to the end of the file and add uh, exports for my java home export java home then i will paste my the line that i copied then also export uh, then now the path and then also the main part then i will concatenate it with my java home sorry java home then i will say slash b so this is all it requires i will now save as i said i'm just configure, uh, configuring it here globally in case even if i have more than one account uh, everyone should be able to get the java that's the purpose here so i'm now saving it okay now that our vm or virtual vm instance is ready with java uh, and we know that uh, both zookeeper and kafka requires java so now the next in the next video we are going to install uh, zookeeper and apache kafka so let's continue in the next video until then uh, thank you very much uh, see you then